Good, Good morning. morning from Aruba. We have arrived. We are clear. They're running drills this morning. So yeah. any announcements pop in, um, excuse those. <laughs> We've decided to make sort of a strange it was not even strange. A goal, each cruise, to try to pick one day to stay on board when other people might be getting off the ship to enjoy some of the facilities around the ship. And to show you, obviously with less people around, because we don't like to film people, so this is a good opportunity to do that and for us to just enjoy the ship. So, yeah. Yeah, because swimming on the ship on a sea day can get yep. a little <laughs> congested. So we've decided for this itinerary, it will be Aruba Day. Now, like, we love us some Aruba. Yeah. I was going to say, if you've never been to Aruba, go. We have a port guide. There's a million things to do. Today's a shorter stop. Generally, you're here until like 1030 at night. We're here till like just mid-afternoon. So yeah. that's why we decided to stay on today. So that's it. We're going to enjoy some sun and some fun on board. Yeah. There's like areas of the ship we haven't even seen. True. Let's do some stuff. Let's go. Let's start with breakfast. Yes. <laughs> Our favorite quiet spot is still the quiet spot of the morning. Dee has grabbed a bowl of yogurt with granola and ordered some eggs. There's the pager for that. I got muesli yogurt with granola, coffee, and some sausages and some hash browns. There's your buzzer food. You got eggs and bacon and a hash brown. Mm -hmm. Well, we've jumped down to deck nine now. So this is the adults only pool area here at the back of deck nine. Let's settle in. Yeah, so you kind of enter this complex down here. This main entrance serves both hot tubs and the pool itself. We're trying to be smart wearing our little flip flips to help protect the deck boards. Now we just have to figure out where to stash them. It is windy in Aruba today. Well, today and every day, I believe. <laughs> We have our own private pool at the moment. How's the refresh level? So it is five feet six inches as you enter the pool here. It goes to seven feet six inches at the deep end. Whoa! Nice deep pool. Yes, we've got nice stairs for entry down here in the shallower end. They've got ladders down on the deeper end. There are the pool rules. It looks like some of them have been uh, rescinded, as it were. They've covered up like four rules up at the top, but no lifeguard on duty. 28 people in this sea view pool. And it is fresh water because I am down here in the deep end now and I am having to work to float. You know, that salt water just pops you right up to the top, but I gotta get my exercise today to stay afloat. Well, we've decided while we're here, we're going to do some water aerobics. We're getting in all sorts of bicycle kicks and yeah. scissor kicks. I've never actually done water aerobics proper, I don't think. I have. I just make moves up and they seem cool, so. Generally, you have to be able to stand when you're doing it, well, which we're in seven foot six water, six inch water, and uh, so we're just making it up as we go. <laughs> yeah, we could go to the shallow end, but nah. No, we're people now. <laughs> we're professionals. <laughs> we'll get our exercise in. It's time to relocate. We're going to make the cross on deck 10 to get to the midship pool. Otherwise, we would have to traipse through the buffet in our wet swoops. And let's don't do that. Ooh, it is loud up here by that giant fan. Yeah, so you got the sun deck up there with the basketball court and all of that. Let's see if we can come to quieter territories. There is the other pool area again. They've got those three hot tubs. Oh, a gigantic one in the back. Well, they kind of look the same size on camera, but the two in the front are a little smaller. This one's a little bigger back there. Or over here, we've got steps down into the pool. We have been hanging out in this pool for a while, talking to all sorts of friends anyway. Time for us to move on. There were a lot of folks out here, so I didn't record a whole lot. <laughs> We have returned to land mode and snagged a table right here by the window overlooking some Aruba. Now we will start contemplating lunch because it is uh, around the noon o'clock hour. Do my time check. Oh, 12.07. Oh, the dive-in is always an option, but I think we are going to buffet it up. Washy washy. All right. I just washed the soap off my hands. <laughs> D has returned with a salad and, oh, look at that, fish and veg. Snapper, yeah. Well, the sushi selection was interesting today. It seemed like they had about three different models. I grabbed each one. I don't know what is in each one, but that is a journey that I am willing to explore. 
Looks like the special of the day was fish and chips, but I decided to just try some other things. I think they said that was kind of a little chicken sandwich, a piece of that fish, a pork burrito, and some spinach, which Dee said was very good. Holy blue cheese, would you look at that. So I have come away with some pepper jack and some smoked gouda and some bluda. Now there are a whole lot of tempting colorful desserts up here at the sweet spot today, but there's also tempting ice cream cones. Well, they had vanilla chocolate strawberry in hand scoop or raspberry and chocolate soft serve. Yes. Boom, boom, room, room. We've come back to the cabin to find our loyalty gift, which is, ah uh, yes, the 150 years tiles. We have had a wardrobe change and we are headed off to see if we can get into some activities. There's some stuff starting very soon that might be full, but we're going to go learn. We are searching for conference rooms on deck one. Okay, this is the other ones down here. It's the Half Moon and I think Hudson room where they do arts and crafts. It is origami time. I feel like I have to be quiet, like it's a librarian here. Shh. So for the seahorse, uh, we're going to start doing something that's called a kite base. And you will see that uh, we do the kite base twice, but one, we start with a bigger kite and then we make it smaller. We're gonna fold it diagonally. We take one side and we fold it along the line. And we fold it and half there. You open and then you flatten. So I open this one as well, and then I flatten and crease. We are origami geniuses. We've made a couple of different types of kites. Ooh. So we open that, open it, and then flatten the table, we're going to fold it in half. It's starting to come together. It's got little, right. little flippy fins. Now, <laughs> so you basically fold them along that diagonal crease that you have there right above those fence. And then she pushes from the back. <laughs> I've made a hummingbird. Well, maybe. <laughs> you open the head of, of the, the seahorse here. And if you look from above, you see a little kite. And you would take it to the top part of the little kite. You fold it back, but not all the way. And then you crease kind of halfway. So now everything that you did you are going to close the head and you will see that you will end up with the nose and the face. We're going to use the same thing that we did with, um, with the head for the tail. So inside reverse fold for the tail. Do we have a seahorse or do we have a, a different creature? I think we did the seahorse. <laughs> good, okay, good, good, good. And now up to deck two. Look how quiet. Well, the shops are closed, obviously. Well, they're doing something in there for maintenance. Oh man, yeah, they got that uh, roped off. Fixed in a chandelier, it looks like. Rolling Stone Rock Room, of course, heading forward on to, and Billboard on board, which will soon be home to trivia and happy hour. Oh yeah, and then notes. This kind of like whiskey bar concept right here. Oh, they're advertising that bar hop. I remember we did that on New Amsterdam. And of course, all their little beverage tasting special deals and mixology classes. 50 questions and a bonus general knowledge. Oh, there's some perfect scores up in here. Wow. They reclaimed their Well, as a prize for losing, they brought us some popcorn. That's amazing. Well, now it is time to head up to the dinner. So we will continue aft on deck. Who? So welcome back to dining room.
Now it is time to come into BB King. They are doing some best of sets tonight, and there is another mystery game night. Well, we haven't really looked at the old cocktail menu in here lately. I like all the cute named drinks and things. Well, we've got a television. We've got four chairs and four microphones. The mystery will reveal itself soon. So as you can see, I need two teams of two for this game. There's no dancing, there's no singing for this round. Our game for this evening is what we call Don't Look Now. So one by one, if someone is going to, each team member will be standing in front, we're going to post a picture on the screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to describe that photo until your teammate is able to say every single word on the screen. You're not allowed to use the words in orange, but you're allowed to use the words in blue. Not a cat, but a dog. Is. Dog is. Said dog still so peeing on that girl? Stay, no. Not, what you drank today at dinner is drinking wine, okay. but color. a different color. Dog is drinking a red wine. Yes. <laughs> First word, your favorite animal. Elephant. Is. Uh, not standing, but. Sitting. Elephant is sitting. On a throne. <laughs> Elephant is sitting on a toilet. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> and of course, you will be receiving something from Zach. Thank you so much. Please give them a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> to the cabin to find our paperwork on the bed. This is for tomorrow, which is the first of two sea days. As we head northward again, they give us a new breakfast card or at least put the old one back out every day we don't use it. A couple of coupon books actually for some Effie and some spa stuff. There it is. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. It's that time. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, what have we got to talk about? I guess really mostly just dishing on dinner because we had a very chill, relaxed day on board. Yeah, it went quick. It really did. So, let's dish on dinner. Okay. Hey, let's break it out, shall we? Get right to the point. So, you started off with a shrimp crostini. This was the port to table, so Caribbean style with like a cream sauce. It was delicious. The bread was crispy. The shrimp were cooked really well. It had a little bit of a kick, but not bad at all. Definitely, I would order that again. Mm. I went with a soup option, which was chicken and callaloo. I think I'm remembering that correctly. <laughs> Callalooia. Callaloo is one of those words that I have heard in my life, and I did not know what it was. It was the greenery that's yeah. on top of the soup. Uh, really good flavor overall. I wish it had more um, stuff in it. It was mostly just a broth. Delicious broth, mind you, with a little bit of chicken, a little bit of, I think, pumpkin was down there, too, or some kind of a squash, and that callaloo floating on top, so it was good. <laughs> you got the, oh gosh, I can't say this one. It's the the shrimp with the aglio e olio. Something like that, yeah. Uh, so it was like a shrimp with spaghetti noodles with like a white wine butter sauce um, and some tomatoes. Very good. There's only two shrimp. I could have definitely used more because, you know, can never have enough shrimp. Dangerous meal. If you're wondering why I've changed, I dripped some oil on my other shirt. Didn't even realize it. Um, so be careful eating it, but it's delicious. You dripped some of that oily, oily oil. I did, there, I and think. it's not coming out, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. I went with the Mahi Mahi Diablo. Now, when I hear the word Diablo, and it had to think of pepper in the description, I'm thinking, oh, here comes some spicy yum from a tongue. 
There wasn't any space to be found in this. Now, granted, the fish was cooked perfectly, to steal a phrase from your book. Um, <laughs> all of the flavors were really nice. The tomato sauce, which I thought was going to be spicy, was just rich and tomatoey. The rice underneath was good. All the flavors were great, but not spicy at all. But mm. I loved it. You got that cute little moosey thing. Yeah, it was the sugar-free raspberry moose tort, mm. I believe. This was so good. I love their sugar-free or reduced sugar desserts on here. They don't taste like it, so it's really yummy. Strong raspberry flavor, and that little cookie thing that's underneath is really good. I tasted it. It was good. It was tasty, <laughs> it tasted yeah. tasted real fresh of fruit. Uh, then I got the bread pudding of the evening, which was the... Cinnamon roll. That's the one. Cinnamon roll bread pudding. They do a lot of bread puddings, and I've tried I think this is at least my third one mm -hmm. over the course of a few cruises. Really good flavor, actually. Um, it was very subtle of cinnamon, at least to my taste buds. The rum sauce on it was mmm. It was moist. It was Buttery. pretty much everything you would want in a bread pudding. Yum, yum. Get it. <laughs> Dinner was solid. It was. Yeah, it was very good tonight. And not a menu you get very often, I think, maybe because we're on a nine-day uh, cruise. We haven't seen this one too much, so. True. Pretty yummy. But that is it. We are going to turn in, knock yeah. out some work, and yeehaw, get ready for a sea day tomorrow. Yeah. So, I guess we'll see you then. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.